In this video, I'm going to explain how an automotive horn works. When I was younger, I was always fascinated with horns and I was amazed at how this little contraption that fits into the palm of your hand can make all of that noise. The horn is typically mounted at the front of the car, like this. There are often two horns on most cars and it bolts to the, the body or the frame and there's a single wire usually that plugs into the horn that uh, provides power for the horn. So let's take a look at how this horn works on the inside and how it makes all of that noise. The horn actually makes noise when this metal diaphragm right here flexes and vibrates. And it vibrates or moves based on the principle of electromagnetism. So there's an electromagnet right here. When the current flows through this coil, it becomes an energized electromagnet and it pulls this plunger inward. As it pulls the plunger inward, it pulls the diaphragm with it. So let's take a look at this in action. First, the switch will close, which will cause current to flow through the electromagnet and energize the electromagnet, which will cause the plunger and the diaphragm to pull inward, and also will cause the contacts to open, which interrupts the flow of current through the electromagnet, and allows the plunger and diaphragm to return back to its original position. This process of the circuit opening and closing and of the diaphragm moving in and out over and over again repeats itself, and the diaphragm flexes back and forth and vibrates at a very high frequency, creating the noise that we hear from the horn. Next, let's look at the housing of the horn, which is usually made out of plastic and is shaped a little bit like a megaphone. In fact, it works a lot like a megaphone or like a trumpet in that it uh, concentrates the sound waves and increases the amplitude of the sound waves to make them louder. The diaphragm inside the horn vibrates and creates sound waves and those sound waves um, typically would propagate in all directions, but because of the shape of the megaphone, it concentrates the sound waves as they expand. It controls the expansion, which amplifies the waves and makes the sound louder as it comes out of the horn. Um, a typical horn can produce sound approximately 100 to 110 decibels, which is important so that other drivers and other cars can hear the sound of the horn even with their windows rolled up, with the sound of the traffic or the radio, or whatever other noises they have that would be distracting them. So now let's look quickly at a typical wiring diagram for a horn. You'll see here, there are two horns, and the horns are grounded at the body of the car, and they receive their power through a fuse and a relay. The relay is important because horns typically take quite a bit of current, maybe um, five to 10 amps a piece and then the relay is turned on or controlled by the horn switch which is in the steering wheel and that wire goes to the clock spring which allows the steering wheel to turn without breaking the wires. So now that the horn is installed back into the vehicle we can connect the power wire and we can see that the horn is grounded by being bolted here to the body on the car. The reason that there are two horns on most cars is that each horn produces a different tone and the combined tones of the two horns are supposed to be easier to hear. Two horns also just sound better and I think it increases the perceived value of the car versus a car that just has one horn. So that's how horns work. I hope that helps you to be able to understand and diagnose and repair problems with your own horn.